What do you think about Iggy Arbuckle? I don't have any idea about it, really. I'm Iggy, the fucking top personal trainer, and I was just wondering, like, if I could get you as one of my clients. Like, your physique's mid, so I'm just trying to give you some help real quick. But I'll take a reservation, though, so. I'll, no, like, give me a table. Like, we could go right now. But I'm the Iggy Arbuckle. Like, this is ridiculous. All right. All right, so I have this crazy prank that's just been spinning around, taking up headspace inside of my mind, and I gotta execute it. It's pretty ballsy. I have no idea what's gonna happen. And I'm not a fan of doing these pranks because, like, there's... It's not staged. It's not fake. I'm not going up to these people and being like, hey, you want to be a part? Like, no, I'm just going up and I'm saying whatever I'm saying and I'm just hoping that, you know, God blesses me and it's not a crazy person. Like, a lot of the times these pranks make me anxious because I know deep in my mind, like, once you do one thing, you got to do it bigger the next time. So, you know, eventually this channel is just going to be filled with crazy ass shit because that's just my mentality. You got to move that way. You got to progress. You got to level up. You got to evolve. You got to keep doing better and better. And that's just the way it goes. So yeah, I'm going to be pretending to be a fake personal trainer at the gym. I'm going to go to sport check and get like a little golf shirt just so I look legit. And then I'm going to get a name tag and then I'm going to Photoshop some paper that says Iggy Arbuckle. So I'm going to Photoshop that document and get it printed off at the library. And then I'm going to try to find some fake needles. I have no idea where I'm going to find that. Like maybe on Amazon, but I don't have like a PO box. But I don't know if it necessarily has to be needles because they're you know, they also have orals, so I could just get like a pill bottle, use that instead. But I feel like, you know, the fake needles are a little bit funnier. And I'm just gonna be like, yeah, so it's absolutely mandatory. Before you join my program, I have to inject you with these steroids, so it makes me look like I know what I'm doing. And just start like bringing up random shit and how they owe me money because I critique their form and like just go off. You know, see what happens. It's gonna be hilarious, it's gonna be funny, God willing. Yeah, I just gotta go and get all the gear, which is gonna be a task in itself. So let's go. What do you think looks like a personal trainer shirt? I'd go with black. So like a fake personal trainer. See, if you see this in the gym, what would you think? That guy's legit or? Nah, nah, nah. You gotta get a black one. Are you a YouTuber, I guess? I guess so, yeah. Oh, yeah, what's your channel? That's Oslo. It's one of the best fucking channels there is, man. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something like me too. I got this funny idea for something like that where we're really good at hacky sack. So this thing gonna go down and like go down on these hastings and then be playing hacky sack and then like drop it in a bush with my girlfriend there and then go reach into the bush and like put like a needle that's got like black stuff in it in my hand and then hold it up and be like, be like I, I, I found it and just like, see her reaction like acting like I don't realize there's literally like a needle hanging a out needle of my head. fucking sticking out of yeah, your arm. Yeah, I got it, babe. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm not a personal trainer, but like I found this this hat, my girlfriend's ex-boyfriend's hat, and I was like, oh, nice hat. I'm actually going to wear it. I'm not usually wearing stuff. Mm. Now she wants me to wear a track suit with it. <laughs> just going to be a whole style I don't normally do, but like something like this with the pants and then like the yeah. You know, but that actually looks more like a gym bro kind of look. Personal trainer is more mature. Yeah, I was trying to find like a little golf tee or something like that, but they don't have it here, so. It's not my stick. Anyways, good luck. Yeah, with fuck your, yeah, uh, man. Have fun out there. Hello. Hello. Would you need some assistance in personal training? I'm giving out free courses. So pretty much like my program consists of like I would be like offering you D-ball. Like all my clients I offer I have them. a membership at the gym. Mm -hmm. But it's like mandatory. So like every client that I have, I put them on steroids just so like the results are fast acting. And I get like, you know, good transformations and good clientele, right? Because I don't want no natty lifter. I don't want the steroids. But it's mandatory. Like we have to give you injections like right off the bat. So, so like if you want to be a part of my program. Can I use the gym without the steroids? No, it's mandatory because like if you're going to post a transformation online and show your friends or show your girl or show whoever, like it's got to be an astounding transformation, right? It can't be no like no average transformation because it's attached to my name. I don't know if I believe you. But it's true though. So like we got to put a needle in your ass and we got to get to work. I may come back later. <laughs> Spot me real quick. Sure. Just like grab my hips and. Yep. You're sus. No. You're sus, dude. All right, 245. I can bench more than I can squat. I don't know what that means. It's not good. <laughs> Uh, just like kind of like hop on top and like push me up sure yeah like reverse cowgirl kind of yeah uh, would you be down or yeah man. because that's the only way you can spot right from the front so you have to like put your legs around me and push up sure where am i pushing up we well, just gotta like put your leg across 
No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, you look like you're down. I was like, oh, okay, never mind. I was just trying to be a bro. <laughs> no, that's definitely restricted. Yeah. Spotting on squats, spotting on here. Are you on steroids though? Like, are you natty or not? Yeah. Are you, uh, like a YouTuber or something? I don't even know what I am, dude. sunshine. <laughs> I'm actually filming a video and you walked in front of it so many times, so I'm gonna have to get the front desk to remove you. Like, we're gonna have to escort you out of here. I'm gonna have to escort you out of here because you've been walking in front of this camera way too much, so I called the front desk, I let them know, and you're out of here. Screw you. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. The most aesthetic man in this fucking gym. Hey, could you spot me real quick? Could you spot me real quick with this? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Just like grab my hips and lift me up. Oh, oh fuck daddy. Oh, yeah, daddy. <laughs> okay. I was just fucking with <laughs> you. Hey, man, you're actually uh, not allowed to film in the gym, so you gotta cut it off. Like, seriously, though. You are. Like, you can't have tripods or nothing. <laughs> Do you have like a YouTube channel or a TikTok or some shit? I got an Instagram. YouTube? <laughs> I do YouTube, TikTok. I was doing Reels for a bit, but I prefer YouTube, it's funner. YouTube, yeah. I just I find it hard to like get found on YouTube. Oh yeah, it's definitely harder. Like you have to like, build the exactly. audience gradually. It's not like Reels where some could just blow up. Like, I was doing Reels for a bit, but it was all like fitness based. So yeah. it was like voiceovers and then like me jogging or running. I was like, this is just so boring. So I switched to YouTube just doing like pranks and fucking random shit. Nice, nice, nice. But anyways, yeah, I gotta stop fucking around and actually work out. So I am basically like one of the hottest personal trainers in the world. So what Ooh, would you rate me like okay. one through 10? Okay, is this how we're starting it? No, we can <laughs> no seriously. Rate you? Okay, That's well, what the every, girls have been saying every, online. Everyone's a 10. That's disrespectful though, don't you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I'm just kidding. But what do you think about guys with good physiques? Like, do you prefer a dad bod or a good physique, fit physique? I think or? personality matters. So like just being funny or? Exactly. No, personality. Okay. Um, what do you look for in a guy? Personality. <laughs> God, that was fucking cringe. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Okay, so I got a little rundown of my program that I'm offering. Oh, what is your name? I'm Alex. Okay, so my name is Ziggy Arbuckle, and I'm one of the top like personal trainers in the world. All right. And I've come I'll down to... It's actually true, like the proof's in the pudding, but I came to Canada just to like bless everybody who's out here, right? So I got a free program that I'm, you know, trying to give my clients and I'm going to give you a little rundown. This is like my biography and my, kind of like my life story. This is trying to like sell you into what I got going on, okay? So, my name is Ziggy Arbuckle and I am the aesthetic cunt. I got into fitness the moment I heard C-Bump say, skinny bitch. Skinny bitch. And ever since that moment, I have dedicated every waking hour to become the biggest, baddest macho man alive. I now offer my knowledge and my experience to peasant lifters like yourself. I have cracked the code on gaining muscle fast and I'm ready for clients. I use D-Ball on all of my clients for fast acting results. I don't want weak natty lifters attached to my name. I don't want shitty transformations posted online by some natural client. Train insane or remain the same. That's my favorite quote. So it just says like Iggy and it's my write off. But that's my story, like that's pretty much my background. So yeah, if you wanna like tell your friends about me, it's the Iggy Arbuckle, like he's... <laughs> so like, would you want to join my program? I'm not, I don't do deep ball, but... But no, do you have to though, because like I don't want natural lifters posting transformations and like attached to my name and all that, right? No, seriously, I was just wondering like, what do you think about Iggy Arbuckle? I don't have any idea about it, really. I have product, like if you want to try it. <laughs> So this is D-Ball, this is what I give to my clients. Yeah. So like if you want to take two capsules and then go on social media and start promoting my stuff like religiously. Because yeah. this is but Iggy no, Arbuckle. No, thank like, you so much. But I, it was nice meeting you. And Father, thank you that um, in moments in the past when London was searching for purpose and meaning, he turned into prayer. All right, boys. Well, we just got some successful interviews. And yeah, I know you guys see like the glorious side of it. And you see all these people, you know, interacting and enjoying the videos. But on the other side, the flip side, I get rejected so many times, like probably 40 times. And I just face it. You got to be the one who believes in what you're doing because literally everybody will mock you. They'll laugh at you. They'll judge you. They'll talk shit. They'll do whatever. But you keep believing and you stand 10 toes down in what you're doing and that shit's going to take off. And that goes for anything you're doing. Like don't be looking for people to believe in you because it's not gonna happen. Don't be looking at your mom, your parents, your family, whoever. You gotta stand alone and you gotta do your shit. Like everybody's waiting for the perfect opportunity or the perfect time, but it's just not gonna happen. You're from the States. How do you know? 
it's easy. You can hear it. Where are you from? I'm from Kentucky. What are you doing up here? I just enjoy my travel. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. So like you're looking for people to believe in you, but the true harsh reality is people kind of want to see you fail. Like they don't want to see you succeed because they have chased things in their life and they went in their own endeavors and they have failed. So they're going to put that on you. So you got to stand alone and you just got to believe in what you're doing. And trust me, if you're putting the action in and you believe in yourself, it's going to work out 100% guaranteed. But you can't be lazy. You need consistency, intensity, and you just have to keep showing up. And yeah, you're going to have doubts. You're going to have conflicting thoughts that don't align with your vision or what you got going on, but you have to keep showing up and fuck everybody else. It's only your vision that matters. And if people want to talk shit or they want to talk down on it, then fuck them, dude. Do you want to be in a video real quick? <laughs> you see what I mean? It happens all the time. So you got to be okay with rejection. That's the first thing because you're going to get rejected a bunch. But that belief and that conviction that you have in yourself, that's going to spread to so many individuals if you hold strong in that belief. And that's how a dream is formed. You just keep believing in it. You have the vision. You keep showing up. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of motivation, some inspiration. Now we're going to the gym. And Iggy Arbuckle is going to take that bitch over. So let's go do that. You want to sign up for my program? Um, so my name is Iggy and I'm a personal trainer and I'm really trying to get clients right now. So I'm on my hustle. I'm on my bustle. So I just need like you to sign this and pretty much what happens after you sign this, we just inject you with steroids. Uh, I'm okay no, please, man. Like Iggy's out here, dude. Like as a personal trainer and all, I'm really trying to get some clients under my wing. So like if you could just sign, just really help our brother out. Just sign? So as soon as you sign, like you're a client of Iggy's, like that's pretty much a big deal. Like he's one of the top personal trainers there is. So uh, I'm okay really, because you look like you need help. Like your physique's mid. I'm okay. You don't trust Iggy's advice? Uh, I'm Iggy, the fucking top personal trainer, and I was just wondering like, if I could get you as one of my clients. Like, your physique's mid, so I'm just trying to give you some help real quick. So, like, if you're struggling, if you need help, if you need advice, if you need knowledge, like, I'm here. No? Like, we could go to the gym right now. Hey, would you like to sign up for my program? For Iggy Arbuckle? I'm a personal trainer. I'm going to be really big. Trust me. Here, you want to sign this right here? Iggy Arbuckle, trust me. Just sign the page, and I got you, man. It's... Oh, no, I'm on the water. Can I help you? Yeah, so I'm the Iggy Arbuckle. Like, I'm kind of a big deal around here. So I was just wondering if I, I could know. get it. I've never heard of you. So uh, I just want a table. Like, I just cut the cut the BS. Like, give me a table. and okay, That's not going to happen, sir. I'm but I'm the Iggy Arbuckle, so. Yeah, that's fine. I, I understand where the company you're from, but I can accommodate you. But, like, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm the shit. Like, I'm the Iggy Arbuckle. So, like, okay, kick everybody else out and just. Yeah. You're going to have to. But I'll take a reservation, though, so. Yeah. I'll, no, like, give me a table. Like, we can go right now. But I'm the Iggy Arbuckle, like this is ridiculous. All right. Do you know who the Iggy Arbuckle is? It doesn't matter. I'm the top personal trainer in the world, man, and you're kicking me out like this? Good for you, sir. Dude, do you even know what she just did right there? I'm just looking for an instant seat. Like, my name's Iggy Arbuckle. I'm pretty much a big deal. Like, if you want to guide me to get a seat for the restaurant, like, I just want to be taken straight there. No reservations or nothing. Bring me to my table and kick the peasants out and bring me in. I'm the Iggy Arbuckle. I don't even want a reservation. I actually just want to get taken to my table and, like, kick all these fucking peasants out here. Bring me in. I'm the man, I'm the Iggy Arbuckle, so I don't want no fuss, no nothing. I just want to get a table, seated like a king, treated like a king, and that's it. You'd like to be treated like the king and be seated at a table in a restaurant? Yeah, and like pampered and like butlers and all that. Like, I am the Iggy Arbuckle. As far as the pampering service goes, you'll be sat at a normal table with a server who's also helping six of the tables. So. Yeah, but are you guys shocked? Like, this is the Iggy Arbuckle right here. No. If you want to take pictures, it's fine. Like. Just bring your phone out. I just yeah. noticed like your form from a mile away and it's like yeah. pretty horrendous. Oh, okay. I'm actually a personal trainer for this gym so I was just yeah. wondering if you wanted to hop on my program. Uh, I'm okay for now. Are you sure? Like I got yeah. some D-ball in my bag if you I'm wanna. Okay. I'm okay for now though. I appreciate it though. Okay because we got some more personal trainers but like yeah, yeah. we might need a couple more for you man. Uh, yeah, yeah. You need a spot or anything or like? I'm okay for now. I'm just taking a break. Okay well just let me know because I have like this program going on where I'm just like yeah. Handing out D-ball and shit, so. I got some right here. Like, this gym doesn't pay me nearly enough, so, like. No, I'm gonna get that. I know, like, it's a recession, so I need some clients. No, I'm gonna get Like, I'm about fast progress, fast work, I so. I appreciate the hustle, though. I appreciate your hustle. When you're doing your dumbbell raises, you actually have to, like, you want your elbows in, like, pointed yeah. up to the ceiling. Like, I'm actually, like, a big deal around here. I'm a personal trainer. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of guys coming in here, and they don't really know what they're doing. So, like, I want to critique yeah. and, good, yeah, like, offer my knowledge, so I just. No, no, 100%, like, exhausted, but, like, yeah. I also got a program going on. Like, I got yeah. some D-ball in my bag. Like, I'm trying to get some clients real quick so i'm i'm like about to head out so like get your information though if you want yeah for real so my name is iggy arbuckle cool. if you can just search that up on instagram sure. or wherever yeah i'll let you know like i'm probably one of the biggest personal trainers in this gym cool so all right so i got the time i'll let you know man i talked to you for a bit Pardon? so you actually look like a malnourished praying mantis and i'm just a personal trainer at this gym like i'm one of the biggest ones here so i was just wondering like do you need some assistance or like help with form or critiques or anything because no, seriously, I was just wondering, like, what do you think about Iggy Arbuckle? I don't have any idea about it, really. Yeah.